I just got my hair done, so you know I'm looking a little bit spicier than usual. Let me stop. Let's get out. Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all coming Chrissy. And let's go ahead and jump right into this shit. So, basically, Ali and Sway were caught fighting for a couple seconds on Facebook Live. Look at all that. Yo, it's true. Oh, slow ass. Like, she mad as fuck. She mad as fuck, y'all. She mad as fuck. Now before I go ahead and play the rest of this clip, let's talk about what built up to this moment. And BTW, this wasn't a legitimate fight. This was, you know, just a type of sisterly fight. You know what I mean? So it wasn't anything too crazy. This is just a little bit of tea that we're sipping on this lovely Sunday afternoon. So basically this all occurred when Sway went on live and she was cursing out this guy who she was entertaining at the moment or talking to for a little bit. I didn't catch everything because by the time I went on Facebook, I was basically catching the aftermath and everything was posted on Facebook Live. By the time the live ended, they didn't upload the original lives that led up to this event. So basically, I'm just kind of piecing everything together. So Sway was on Facebook, and she was going back and forth with some guy named JT. And no, it's not JT from the City Girls. It's JT, a nigga. And she said, why niggas want to show out? Look in the comments. And she posted this video of JT cleaning his private parts. You know, his balls in the bathroom. And she said, JT said, you're funny. She responded, I know, giggle you right out them boxes. That's why laughter is the key to all medicine. Then she said, I was too gangster for that nigga anyway. He's too pussy. BTW, pussies are the most powerful and strongest things in the world, okay? You need to stop referring to people as pussies when we talk about they weak. No, nigga, you a dick, okay? You're a dick. And she said, I hate a nigga who tried to show out in front of hoes and Facebook. Get your lame ass on. I don't know what JT said to spark all this. I didn't try to find his account and nothing was on there so either he deleted it or it wasn't the right account but I didn't see nothing based off of a couple of minutes of her live comments that I seen I, I don't know either he was talking about her vagina or was just trying to play her out in public and talk some shit and she posted a couple of pictures and videos between the two and then the caption said, he's trying to act hard. That my little stink butt though. His black ass played me though and I played back. He didn't like that energy. And like I said, she's just posting photos and videos between the two. She also posted a couple of messages, including his numbers. So I blocked that out. You guys can feel free to go ahead and pause and read them. The first two, they're basically flirting. And the third message, she's accusing him of talking bad about her and putting their business out there on Fortnite. And then in the last message, now mind you, there's no time frame on when these messages were sent to each other and this last message that she posted he said on god i told somebody i was going to and act should i but they said it's too much already going on just leave it alone i've been thought about it just saying no if you was going to respond because you were henry so i left it alone but i'm sorry for your loss and keep your head up. so i'm assuming that that message took place around the time that her father passed away and also around the time that she was with Henry. So it seemed like, according to these messages, he asked somebody if it was wise for him to hit her up. He thought that she wasn't going to respond because she was with Henry and there was things going on. So he didn't bother asking her to. I'm assuming, like, I mean, my first thought was maybe he wanted to see if it was okay to kind of get with her. But, you know, there was just a lot going on with everything going on surrounding her father's death and her maybe even still being with Henry around the time. He felt like he should have just kept his distance. So in the midst of all this, Sway went on live and she was talking her shit. Apparently she was crying over JT and at some point Ali joined the live and they were at Kiki King with each other and so Ali was just Kiki King too hard and Sway was like alright bitch it's not funny. Ali said Sway funny as fuck. It's the beating on the chest for me. She mad at me cause JT got her crying on Facebook. Why are you being weird to me? So again they were laughing together on live about the situation and at some point Sway just felt like okay you laughing a little bit too much. Sway ended up kicking her out the room and she attempted to lock her out but apparently the door wasn't locked and that's when Allie busted in that bitch. Corvette, Corvette, and they started fighting for a little bit. So now I'm just gonna post some Facebook Live clips that I caught, that I screen recorded. Again, I couldn't find the full thing. But these basically kind of piece up the rest of what's going on. I'm also gonna post the rest of the fight. I'm gonna go over what happened. Sway's gonna give her thoughts on the situation and her speaking on whatever she wants to speak on on social media. So let's go ahead and roll the clips. I just hear her hopping at the phone. I'm like, what's going on? She was like, you won't believe this shit. JT did this. She just acting like JT fucking with her out of nowhere. Like, just fucking with her. Sound like he did what? She was like, girl, he posted this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So I let her go lie. I let her go lie. So shit, I'm like, damn, bitch, it been two hours. You still on lie? So she shit for JT or her crying. So I walked back in the house. She was on lie. I'm like, you trip. I'm going to trip. You ain't tell me that. That's all I'm saying. Like, you trip. But like she wanted to show out in front of y'all, like she was laughing up under her everything. We just laughing at the shit, cause the shit funny. 
But then she started saying, oh, you went, it wasn't that funny when this such and such happened to you. So everybody don't lie. Like, what the fuck you talking about? Why is you even saying that shit? Like, she just started feeling herself. That when she kicked me out. So I was like, she just still kept, she was like, it went funny when this and this and this. So I was like, oh, you still talking about it? So I'm God, she tried to lock the door. I guess she can't lock it fast enough. I bust that hoe down. Like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Yo, it's true. Oh, slow ass. Like, she mad as fuck. She mad as fuck, y'all. She mad as fuck. Y'all, let her go. What up? What up? I'm going. What up? What up? She doing all that shit, acting out, acting retarded and shit. That shit ain't got shit to do with me. Okay, every time I try to tell her something, she want to fight somebody. I'm not finna keep fighting with your ass, bitch. Real shit, though. Like, she was just feeling herself. Like, she mad because JT got on her ass. Now she trying to be mad at me. That ain't my problem. Didn't nobody tell you ass never go live anyway. Anytime y'all see me on Facebook, I post my picture. I post my music. I get off. Every time y'all see her go live, she always talking about some damn body. Somebody did something to her. She want to fight somebody. Y'all never see that whole post get shit. Like, damn. Like, my nigga, like, what the fuck? She not finna fight me because her hair did. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. My shit went dead. That's why I attacked her ass like that. My, that why my shit not did. I attacked her because I know, like, you got a wig on. You ain't finna do none of that shit you talking about. I ain't got no wig on. I just took my shit off. Who got the ad beat? Who got the ad beat? I'm on live, ain't I'm gonna lie, like, let me blow this motherfucking ass so you can see my how blown the motherfucking wind. And second of all, she ain't do nothing but choke me. She ain't do shit but choke me. My wig's still on, my ass still scraped. I'm good, you feel me? You see, I told her to stop putting my hair because you trying to pull my hair off. Like, and then y'all keep talking about some, um, uh, um, Corn, I'm finna text you back. I'm still finna order these water waffles and I'm still gonna post what I post. And second of all, I'm not mad about no nigga. Like, why would I be mad about niggas and honey niggas out this hoe? And then second of all, for you as my sister, you shouldn't have made no post trying to be funny. Hey, you keep mad, you keep egging it on. All you talking about. But anywho, I don't respect that. Man, no, that fight wasn't serious. No, that fight wasn't serious. I feel like I had a wig on, baby. You gotta catch me when I take a wig off. Bitch. And first of all, a bitch ain't really want to do her ass like that because she a bitch sister and she trying to show I don't love. Like, come on, you know that she wants serious. Like, come on, bitch, I, got, I just got my head in. Do you think I'm finna... You yeah, bitch, man. Bitch, man. I don't fight no more. I don't fight no more. I shoot you. Beefing at all. No beef. Where's her? No nothing. We not beefing. That shit just happened. Man, I don't, that's hard. That, y'all don't catch me crying about no nigga. Y'all, she should have just said that shit or stop. Like, instead of trying to act live for Facebook and lock me out of shit, you should have just said, oh, like, it ain't even that funny. But she want to act live for y'all. Not Miami and JT. Not Miami and JT. We talking about another JT. I don't know what the fuck they will. I don't know. That's what I'm saying, though. She just said some lame-ass shit. And I'm still mad at her for the little shit that happened with my little daddy. I'm still mad at her ass, so. All that shit just complained into an effect. Like, bitch, you cheating. I bust that hoe down. That's what I'm saying. Sisters fight. Y'all act like we intentionally got in that hoe. Like, it's finna be a fight. And it's a, that shit just happened on Facebook. She shouldn't have said what she said. And I just told y'all I was still mad at her. From the little situation with my daddy, I'm mad at her. I'm still mad at her. So all that shit just played in effect in my mind. Man, she not finna fight me. Y'all tripping. She got a whole wig on. I don't. Let me talk about it. It's me, not you. I mean, we look like, but damn, like, let me talk about this me. The fuck, talking about the fight on my store. Okay, y'all be trying to do it. Now, y'all trying to do that shit for views. You don't want to fight the fuck. Like, Y'all gonna have me and Facebook just being messy. Like, I don't be on all that. The fuck? 
I ain't shit hurt my booty. Ain't nothing happened, my boy. What you see on that video, that was not me. That was another girl. So yeah, like I said, it wasn't anything that serious. We're just sipping some tea this rainy, lovely Sunday afternoon. But I thought it was interesting that Ali mentioned that she's still mad at her for her father. So it seems like Ali still puts blame on Sway for what happened with her father. It's a typical sister relationship, especially to have a big sister and a little sister. And the little sister kind of wilds out. And the big sister's trying to be like, just relax, like you're doing too much. What could you say? Some people are still like iffy that they're back together, that they're friendly with each other even after what happened happen with their father but it's just like you know it's really hard to cut off family ties especially when you go through traumatic shit together so to be honest I'd rather them just be together than apart but I'm sure Ali knows based off of what allegedly occurred between her and her sister and Henry that she can't trust it to an extent as she said before but I'm not gonna lie this was kind of funny to be honest like really grabbed her with a whole choke hold they was not playing. I wonder what would have happened if Sway did not have that wig on. But that is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down what you guys think below. Follow me on Instagram every on Snapchat at HR Chrissy. Two S's, two Y's. I love and appreciate you guys. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.